so the last two sur the last survivors of the human race wait what the fuck happened to the human race oh boy what indeed <laughs> so all so the last humans on earth became a ninja village against the demon army hell yeah okay all right i'm down for that flying in from the western ocean hmm what is this, The Last Samurai with Tom Cruise? <laughs> I thought that Tom Cruise was not The Last Samurai in that movie. He's not. It's just funny that that's, like, how it was marketed. <laughs> like, he's, like, on the cover of the, on the box art and everything. <laughs> oh, so, so you're not part of the clan. You're just carrying a message to the clan. You are the messenger. You are the messenger. And this is the messenger. Ah, oh, I'm so excited for you to play this game. But I'm also a little nervous because I'm going to be upset if you don't like it as much as I like it. Or if you just don't like it, period. Okay, let's see. Let's hope I, Let's hope it's. it gives me enough carrots that I, uh, on the stick that I don't get frustrated. All right, so the Messenger came, came out in 2018 from one of my favorite studios, Sabotage Studio. Uh, this is the beginning of the messenger verse. All right. Their new game that came out earlier this year called sea of stars, which is also equally as amazing. Um, also takes place in the same universe, but, uh, thousands of years in the past okay. before this happens. And there are references to the messenger in that game that are super cool. If you know what they are. Okay. So this this game is very much a throwback to Ninja Gaiden. Ninja Gaiden. Uh, it's pla action platformer. Um, and Sea of Stars is actually a turn-based RPG, which is cool that they went from one extreme to the other mm -hmm. in terms of genre and did a great job with both of them. So I have jump and slash. Uh, yep, for now. So I got, let's see, hold on. Nope, no wall stuff. Ooh, and some other ninja. Oh, I see. Oh, what like, uh, what is it? Like, uh, Spectre Knight. It, oh, not quite. So I have to hit to, to, to jump again. Yeah, and it gives you an, uh, your, an extra jump. Now, can I press both buttons at the same time? Yes. Mm hmm. You've discovered the secret. Not really a secret. That's probably how you're supposed to do it. <laughs> uh. Oh, Also, the, the music in this game is exquisite. It does sound very good. It is uh, composed by a uh, composer. I uh, would assume named, so. <laughs> named uh, Rainbow Dragon Eyes is his uh, stage name. Oh, there. Oh. Well, all right. Master... Well, darn, I guess it's up to you. The plebeian Oh, messenger. my God. <laughs> the pixel art in this game is also It's really fantastic. good. Oh, there he is. The messenger. Except he's going to die, and I'm going to have to deliver that message. As legend foretold. Baram Thasso. Oh, that's the Demon King, huh? I see the crown on one of the heads. In the Autumn Hills. Oh. 
So wait, there's only five people left in this whole village? I guess. <laughs> oh god. Hmm, this seems unwise. Godspeed, messenger. Okay. I'm gonna, crank, I'm gonna crank up the volume and enjoy this music. All right. Let's do it. Let's go. All right, here we go. Messaging. I should have gone back and checked on my master, huh? <laughs> How could I have died? I guess I could have walked off the side at the beginning. Oh, you got a trophy for not dying in the first level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. So, a really cool uh, minor spoiler for Sea of Stars. Uh, this area, Autumn Hills, it appears in Sea of Stars. Oh. And when you walk in and this music starts playing, I was like, oh, it's so cool. Oh, so it, it only it only is there if you, like, you, you'd have to play it to understand. Right. So they had, um, so they brought, obviously, Rainbow Dragon Eyes back to do part of the, some of the soundtrack for Sea of Stars also. But they also got the composer for Chrono Trigger. What? No way. Um, Yasunori Mitsuda. Wow. It's the music for uh, Sea of Stars also. Ooh, I like this bit of game design here. So what they've done is they've forced you to learn. Do you recognize what I'm talking about? Because you can't go backwards. I cannot get out. There's nothing for me to do but figure out the correct answer, which is to press down and jump. Yep. These guys shoot two at a time. One. Yep. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I had to ooh, vibe for a second. Ow, fuck my life! How do I heal? You don't, huh? Mm -mm. Oh, a little bit of healing. The hell is this? Oh, that's the guy from the icon. It's a shop. It doesn't look like a shop. Do I look like a shopkeeper? Anyways. <laughs> I'm this mystic character who will be mentoring you and supporting you on your epic quest to save the world. All you need to do is take the scroll. All right, easy. Time shards. What are time shards? Those are the little uh, gold icon things you have in the top right. Oh, 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 that you've been collecting. Okay. I got some little. I got some little upgrades. <coughs> These both look really good. So now you can destroy projectiles, and um, you can cloud step off of them too. Okay. Uh, so a little east, a little Easter egg thing. If you, he tells you not to mess with that cabinet. Mm -hmm. If you continue messing with it, he'll eventually get into like a, like probably like a five minute dialogue with him of him telling you a story. I see. I, I think there's like there's a few places in the game where you can do that and. I think there's trophies for, or achievements for doing all of them, listening to all of his stories. All right. It's, it's kind of silly. I wish I had a little dash. A little step. Maybe you, maybe you will one day. Ah. Damn it. The spikes hurt very, very badly. Mm. Mm. Okay. 
I'm digging this. Oh, oh boy. Uh oh. A hammer, bro. Well, that hammer did. <laughs> Let's uh, get back up in here. Oh, I can't go in. The door's not fixed, huh? Mm hmm? Mm hmm? Can't attack in here. Do I have breath? No. Ah, I see I've learned water breathing. The secret ninja technique. How am I doing? Am I doing okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although this is level one. Well, technically level two, but... Let's see how... Uh, how good you are at platforming. I believe I died... I, I, I don't remember the exact number, but it was 400-something times <laughs> playing this game. Oh my god. I left and some it, shards yeah. behind. It's like me screwing up platforming sections. Woo. Probably skip that if I was good. But I will take the low risk way. Oh, coming for you. They wanted that butt. Um, I do like how they made it so that you can press both buttons at the same time. Mm hmm And and do like what you want to do. <laughs> I know it's weird to say. <laughs> hmm. Let's commit to it. Is that the whole thing? Yeah. That wasn't that bad. <laughs> there, I think they get longer as you do more, but it's funny. Oh! <laughs> you remember the fucking uh, Moblins in Ocarina of Time? When they uh -huh. die, they're like, oh! This kind of reminds <laughs> me of that. I can do this. Easy. Just run and gun. I, I got this. I, I, I think I'm okay at these kinds of games. All right. <laughs> yeah, I, I this game. I really enjoyed like the challenge of it because every like I said, I died like 400 something times, but it, I, I always felt like it was my fault when I died. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. So it was like good game design. I just I screwed up a platforming section, or I just didn't approach, you know, the enemies the right way, or what have you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get what you're saying. And so it was like when when you get to a hard part and you're dying over and over again, you finally beat it. It's, it's like the the, the real is the Dark Souls platforming experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, so this game um, Celeste, which I need to finish. Um, but like, just that re that really challenging platforming stuff. I get, I really enjoy. Um, you know, the finally making it past the the screen that's giving you problems. I played Super Meat Boy a little bit. Oh shit! He walks oh. off. <laughs> um, that's one I would like to go back to at some point. Oh, it does do what I wanted. I was about to say. Oh shit! Uh, 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 uh. uh. You can slide down the wall. That's nice. All right, you're saying. No, that was it. They're just saying. But Super Meat Boy is a game, like what I'm talking about, that I would like to get back to one day. Ooh, I see a secret. Mm hmm. Not really a secret, though. Oh, shit, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah? This is the kind of stuff you're talking about? 
Yeah. They get like crazy, I'm assuming. Yeah, like getting all of the, uh, like trying to get all the strawberries and Celeste and stuff like that. Is this a ninja coin? What is this? wander off the beaten path. What was that big green object? Oh, you mean that thing you just smashed instead of collecting? <laughs> it's a power seal. There are many others like it. Uh, honest, I'm not really sure what they do. I can tell you that finding them all is optional. This kind of adventure likes to go for extra challenge. You want to keep an eye out for hidden rooms. And who knows, it may not unlock an overpowered upgrade. Anyway, I'll be in my shop. Alright, cool, thanks. Yeah, so that's just a... I could go down like... here, but I don't have the ability to go down. Hmm... I have to come back, huh? I don't remember off the top of my head what that unlocks, but I think there's like 50 of those throughout the game. And like, yeah, it's just like extra challenge. Um, and then you get some. Do you instantly die if you fall off? Or do you like come back with a little bit less health? I believe you die. Oh, that's lame. Don't quote me on that there. I hate instant death with, uh, like, with pits. Oh, okay, so there's 45 of those power seals. Is there a thing that tells you if you're missing any in a stage? Uh, I don't remember. Would you like me to keep track as we go? Well, I got one. Um, yeah, it probably, probably doesn't benefit you. I mean, because uh, that would probably be a thing for New Game Plus, because like, you'd have to play through the whole game to get them all. Can I shoot shurikens down? I need, oh. I need an attack to go downward so I can get those blocks. I don't know. This music's good. Tap in here. Cool. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, but if you look up in the top left, I believe you only have three shurikens. Yep, yep, yep. Oh boy, Leafman. This boss is also in uh, Sea of Stars. Hmm. Oh, I see. Oh, shit. Okay. Is that it? Easy. <laughs> Bring me a challenge. <laughs> Unless that's just the mid boss. <laughs> <laughs>